Appalachian Wireless proudly brings you unlimited data. Unlimited data is only $80 a month for a single line. Four lines as low as $200. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Data speeds low to 25 gigabytes per line to 512 kilobits for phones and tablets and 15 gigabytes for modems. See store for more details. Nearly constant rains over the weekend took a toll on our region, sending streams and rivers over their banks. The weekend's flooding caused numerous problems, including water-covered roads, mudslides, and downed trees and power lines. Pike County had two major concerns, the Leviza Fork and Tug Fork of the Big Sandy. Both of them crested yesterday. Lovasa crested around 1.30 yesterday, just above the flood stage of Pikeville. As far as we know, there were no homes or anything flooded, just some low-lying areas that uh, had water. Over in Mingo County, some residents experienced water in their basements, but no major damage was reported. Dingus had a power outage due to a downed tree falling on a power line. Flooding in the county came in two phases. The southeastern portion of the county caught the brunt of the storm. McDowell County and Mercer County was getting the heavy rain, which will cause the Tug Fork River to rise in our area. And that's what's caused this secondary that you're seeing behind me. It's not necessarily just the rain that happened here. Rain that happens away causes the river to rise. The river also crested in phases on the West Virginia side. It started in Mate 1, then Williamson, and ended in Kermit. All the local authorities, the mayors, the county commissioners from Mingo County, everybody's done an excellent job throughout this. We're lucky. Could have been worse. It shows that some of the preparedness is starting to work. Most fire departments are open as warming stations for those who need to utilize them. In Kermit, Shelby Porter, EKB News.